joined by E.J. Dion, MSNBC contributor, Washington Post columnist, and author of the book, Our Divided Political Heart. Great to have you with us, E.J. This is going to be fun to watch because we can pull out archive after archive of tape and whatnot that are in the archives, obviously, about how they have been railing on small business, railing on the president's comment. It almost harkens back to... Uh, Hillary Clinton's It Takes a Village. I, I, I kind of thought about that when the president first said that. How is this going to play out? How are they going to put lipstick on this pig? Well, you know, first of all, Ed, you don't understand that if a Republican says business is doing fine, that's a pro-capitalist statement. And if Obama says business is doing fine, that's a socialist statement. Isn't that perfectly clear? I, I find this whole argument very strange. I, I, whenever I run into somebody who says I'm self-made, my first instinct is to say, well, you had parents, didn't you? And I mean that not only in the biological sense, but in other senses. You had teachers, didn't you? You had coaches, didn't you? You had people who gave you help along the way. And then in the case of a lot of businesses in America, they do a lot of business with government. We have a small business administration. We have all kinds of benefits the government gives to business. I, I love Senator Fritz Hollings, who used to tell the story of a business guy who uh, you know, went to college on the GI Bill, started a business with an SBA loan, bought a house with an FHA loan, and said he was voting for Ronald Reagan to get the government off his back. I mean, there's just something very strange and very old about this argument that they're making. Well, and well, how do they dress up the argument to make it look good to the American people? On one hand, they are railing against any kind of government help. On the other hand, they're going to put a person up there who has had success with the help of government. Uh, this It almost illustrates exactly what the Romney campaign is all about, doesn't it? Well, you know, they've had this problem before. I think, if I'm not mistaken, this is the second or third business person they have pulled out uh, to uh, make the point that there was something terrible about Obama's statement, where it turns out that that business did business with the government or got some help from government. Uh, maybe, maybe they'll put somebody up there who got help from the dread stimulus uh, package. I mean, it's just very hard to find somebody in America who is totally pure and has never gotten any help from government. And so I think they're going to have this problem over and over again.